we finally have the first official teaser trailer for Joker Folia Dew and it looks so incredibly beautiful and well crafted that I am getting the impression that we might already have a contender for next year's Academy Awards over here. Joaquin Phoenix looks absolutely incredible as the clown prince of crime just as everyone expected and it almost feels like this iconic actor was literally born to play this role. Lady Gaga looks pretty awesome as well which is honestly not surprising considering her hardworking nature and dedication to all her projects. One thing which hit me while watching the trailer is that although we have had several live-action iterations of the Joker, we never had one fully focused on his love affair with Harley Quinn which is one of the main reasons behind my excitement for this movie. I know what you might be thinking but you guys including myself are actually not allowed to talk about this epic once in a lifetime masterpiece for obvious reasons. I am going to tell my kids that this was a character from one of those fan-made gangster movies that somehow went horribly wrong. Before I go further and break down this amazing trailer, I am going to ask you to spend just one second of your time to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because that is the only thing which motivates me to work harder and to bring you more and more such awesome content. The trailer for Joker Folia Dew starts off exactly at the point where the first Joker movie ended. If you remember, the first movie ended with Arthur Fleck talking to a psychiatrist inside Arkham Asylum after he gets caught by the GCPD due to the subway murders and most importantly his brutal shooting of Murray on live TV. Just before the credits roll over. We see Arthur walking down one of the hallways leaving bloody footprints on the floor indicating that he has basically killed his psychiatrist who was talking to him a few minutes ago. So this is basically where the trailer begins with a shot of Arthur Fleck locked up in his prison cell at Arkham Asylum. Then we see this shot where Arthur is getting escorted to his prison cell by four GCPD cops. The interesting thing to notice here is the color of these umbrellas that the cops are holding. They clearly look way more colorful than they have any right to be considering the dark and depressing tone of this movie. This indicates that this whole sequence is actually not real and is just a segment of Arthur's imagination. This is basically confirmed by this angle of the same sequence where we can clearly see that all the umbrellas basically are of the same black color. Courtesy of the first movie, we know that Arthur Fleck has this weird obsession of daydreaming and making up stuff in his head. The most prominent example of this aspect of Arthur was his love affair with Sophie which later turned out to be nothing but just one of his weird imaginations. Arthur Fleck became so lonely and mentally unstable at that point that he began to find comfort in hallucinating his love affair with Sophie the whole freaking time. I had to bring up his love affair with Sophie because it has a strong relevance to the next part of my breakdown. Coming back to the trailer once again. We then get our first proper look at Lady Gaga as Harleen Francis Quinzel. According to DC Comics. Harley Quinn is supposed to be a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum but in this shot she actually looks like an inmate herself. I will get to this aspect in a moment but before that, let me address the next important element from the trailer. Then we get to see Harley Quinn in shots very similar to Arthur from the first movie which you can see over here. This again seems way too perfect to be just a simple coincidence which could mean that these shots could also be imaginary hallucinations in Arthur's head just like his relationship with Sophie in the first movie. These shots clearly indicate that Arthur is mentally visualizing Harley Quinn the women he has fallen in love with and situations which defined his own life. He is basically trying to imagine Harley going through the exact same situations which he himself had to endure which could be a form of coping mechanism for his loneliness. So, I believe this shot where Harley seems like a patient and Arkham herself could just be another one of Arthur's hallucinations trying to place Harley in his own shoes. However, unlike Sophie, Harley Quinn is actually going to fall in love with Arthur because of the simple fact that their relationship is already a well-established element from DC Comics. But as I said, some of these shots are quite over-exaggerated by Arthur's wild imaginations. As you can see in this shot right here, Arthur is sitting along with Harley where both of them are enjoying along with other prison inmates in some kind of a movie theater in Arkham Asylum. Arthur is clearly having similar kind of visions like he had in the first movie where he imagines himself sitting in the audience in one of Murray's live talk shows. I think this is where we will get to see most of the jukebox musical elements of this movie which I really hope plays out well in the overall storyline. He visualizes himself dancing and singing with Harley the women he is madly in love with. Interestingly, we see Arthur placing himself in shots very reminiscent from the first movie. For example, this shot over here with this police car running over this guy with the clown makeup is quite reminiscent of this scene from the first movie where Arthur himself was run over by one of these police cars. And we also get to see Joker and Harley written on this display board which clearly looks like the stage from the Murray talk show from the first movie. This proves my speculation beyond a shadow of a doubt that they all exist in Arthur's twisted mind and are not actually taking place in the real world. 
So does that mean that the entire movie itself is going to be one big imagination of Arthur Fleck? Absolutely not. I believe majority of this movie will still take place in the real world but we will get to witness all those events unfold from Arthur's perspective which is again exactly similar to what we saw in the first movie. Then in the next shot, we get to see Arthur being dragged across the floor by a GCPD cop which I believe is actually happening and not one of those weird hallucinations of Arthur. I mean if you have noticed Arthur's behaviors from the first movie. His imaginations primarily involve placing himself in happy situations which he wished actually happened in his life. There is no way he would visualize himself in a painful manner like we see here in this way. Then in this particular sequence we see that while both Arthur and Harley sit together in the prison theater over here. Harley asks Arthur if he intends to get out of the prison. And then in this particular shot, we see Arthur and Harley running across what looks like the exact same hallway which we saw at the ending of the first movie with a massive explosion in the background. Then in this frame, we see what looks like the same explosion viewed from a different angle. This shot quite interestingly indicates that the explosion takes place inside the exact same prison theater room where Harley and Arthur used to enjoy together. I say that because we can clearly see a projector over here with a large group of prison inmates in the same room. From my observation, it looks like the explosion was planned and carried out by Arthur and Harley in an attempt to escape Arkham Asylum. Then in this frame, we see Harley applying clown makeup on Arthur's face which I believe takes place after their escape from Arkham. If we remember at the end of the first movie, we saw those people especially the ones outclassed by the corrupt and powerful people of Gotham rallying behind and supporting Arthur. This is because of the fact that due to his crimes he began to be seen as a symbolic figure of revolt against the rich and powerful people of Gotham. So I believe the reason behind him putting on this makeup is to let his supporters recognize him and realize that their hero has finally arrived to set them free. We then get to see Harley Quinn putting on her own version of the clown makeup in order to indicate that she stands by Arthur and stands against the rich and powerful people of Gotham. Them. But much like the first movie, it looks like the two lovers get arrested by the GCPD once again as suggested by this particular sequence where we see Arthur escorted back to Arkham inside one of the GCPD police trucks. There is a huge crowd blocking these vehicles in a display of support and solidarity for Arthur. Finally at the very end, we see Arthur and Harley in full makeup walking up to what looks like the entrance door to the Gotham City Court. In my opinion, they are being taken to the court by the GCPD in order to impose an extension of their punishment for trying to blow up and escape Arkham Asylum. Once again, we can see a large group of people gathering at the entrance showing their love and support for Arthur Fleck and Harley Quinn. What is really beautiful is we get to see a recreation of the iconic Joker dance from the first movie in this particular shot which you can currently see on your screens. The trailer finally ends with this absolutely gorgeous cinematic shot of inside Arkham Asylum of Arthur Fleck's smile perfectly aligning with this smile on the glass drawn by none other than Harley Quinn. So, that was all for my breakdown for the first trailer of Joker 2. As I mentioned at the beginning, it looks absolutely amazing and I strongly believe that this movie is going to get nominated in multiple categories for next year's Academy Awards. In fact, I will not be surprised one bit if Joaquin Phoenix ends up winning the Oscars for Best Actor once again for his performance in the movie. So, that is all I had to share in this video. Let me know your own thoughts regarding the first official trailer for Joker 2. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.